up everybody welcome back to super siblings for today's video i'll be showing you guys my favorite power ranger villains a top three so let's get straight into it this one came in last so i'm gonna open this one last i believe this one came in first so i'm open this one first put this to the side all right believe in my Tommy Oliver video where I showed you guys my collection. I shared my favorite Power Ranger who was a villain. But he's my, my favorite Power Ranger in general because I just like his design, the character, the background. Like You guys might not know who it is, but is he in this package though? We're about to see. Actually, I don't need a knife for this one. Save that for the boxes. All right. Let's see. Right here. Made it easy for me. You guys think it is the white thunder ranger trap mercer i know i said in my previous video with tommy oliver's that dracon was my second favorite behind korag but to be honest the white thunder ranger when i saw him First debut. Then he became one of my favorites. My second favorite. Forgot to mention him. Like before I knew find out about Dragon, I, I knew this guy. Saw him first. The design. The voice. I like I like this. I like his voice a lot. The way he just schooled the other Rangers. Like, they're not on his level. His powers, I love his speed. Like, he has the super speed. That move with his dagger. That shoots those arrows. Now, this character, when it first debuted, I just fell in love with it. The design. The voice. Yeah, I know... Dragon, I said Dragon was my favorite, my second favorite behind Korag, but I forgot about White Thunder Ranger. He's always been my second favorite behind Korag, but recently I found out that Dragon was basically Power Rangers King, the Con King, the King of Power Rangers, who time travels. He has all these cool powers and stuff. Evil Tommy Oliver. Like, it's close. But, the Evil White Thunder Ranger. Lightning Collection. This guy was a lot of money. Got him off Amazon. Now we're up to the next package. Which is this one. This one came in next. Actually, I'm going to save this one for last. We'll go with this one. Drag on. It could be this version or the black version, the other one I have, but I didn't have this version yet, so I bought it. The original Drag on. Evil Tommy Oliver. Don't need to say much about him. He looks cool. He's Evil Tommy Oliver. 
the only evil Tommy Oliver. Which is crazy because every other Tommy Oliver is good. But except for one. I like the black version better still, but this is the original. The less powered one. So I had to get him in my collection. Looks very cool. Now, you guys might already know what this one is. This one was hard to find. I saw, luckily there was one I saw on eBay. So I just picked it up right away. The price was more than this one. I got this for 80. So imagine how much this cost. This I got for 40. <laughs> yeah, these figures, they're pricey, especially if they're rare, like this one. Move this out the way. Favorite Power Ranger of all time. I see it. Korag, the Night Wolf, Power Rangers, Mystic Force. These figures are rare. He is very hard to find. I was searching. I've been searching. I finally found him. They have to make this for the finding collection they have to remake him he just a two he just a cool character to pass by the design the background the story his powers yeah lightning collection has to make korag he was with drag on in the comics, working with him. So that was very cool to see. But yeah, these are my three, my top three favorite. I'm gonna pop them up. I'm gonna pop them open. And then, even though I probably shouldn't pop this one open, but I'm still gonna do it. The box, it's kind of cool. If it showed Korag instead, but yeah, I'm just gonna do it. I have them displayed, all opened. I'll probably show you guys that after. But let's pop them open. All right, they're out their boxes now. My top three favorite Power Ranger villains. Number one, Korag, the Night Wolf. Number two, White Thunder Ranger. Number three, Dragon. Number two and three are close, but I knew about White Thunder Ranger first. Fell in love with the character first. The way he just schooled the other Rangers, toyed with them. In the earlier episodes, he's complete badass. Especially when I saw him first morph. The way that morpher looks. The one thing about this figure I don't like is that they don't really look like the back of the box. Like, I wish it had the outlining, the black outlining. But I could probably do it myself. Just gotta be careful with the paint. Other than that, everything looks good. The figure comes with two hands. The Trent Mercer head got imposed exactly 
almost exactly like the back of the box. But yeah, that's probably the one thing about the figure I don't like. The helmet doesn't really look the same. Still my favorite ranger. Glad I got him. Second favorite evil ranger. Dragon. I know I said it was close between... I know I said he was my second behind Korag, but... It's still close to my second favorite, the White Thunder Ranger. He was the first Evil Ranger. Just the design, the history of this character, the Evil Tommy Oliver, the powers he has. Incredible. I had to get the original, you know? Then there's Korag the Nightwolf. This character was introduced when I first saw him. No other ranger. Whether I looked at them in the future, other ranger episodes in the future, any other design, competed with this one. The character itself, the voice, the powers, the colors, purple and gold. Those colors go hard. Purple and gold. It's a clean color combination. One of the best. Sign of royalty, royalty colors, king colors, colors a king would wear. The Lakers. That purple and gold. He's definitely my favorite. Got my favorite color purple. Design. Thing lights up, comes with the sword and shield. These these are my top three. I'll give you guys a look of my display, how I have them. But to tell you guys my list again, Korag, the Night Wolf. White Thunder Ranger, Dragon. All right, gonna show you guys my display now. Bang, here they are. Got the good Rangers versus the evil Rangers. More specifically, Tommy Oliver's versus my favorite, Philly Rangers. To me, these are the best Rangers ever made you guys might have some other rangers in there up there that can compete with these but i love these rangers these are my favorite the tommy olivers the different versions of him and these evil rangers my favorite being korag my second favorite being tommy oliver then my third probably being the White Thunder Ranger. And after that being Dragon. Those are in my Mount Rushmore. For Tommy Oliver, I love all versions. Even though I said I like the green one the most. But Tommy Oliver is Tommy Oliver. Therefore, he's my second favorite. Arguably the greatest Ranger of all time. But I just love Korag. The design. The colors, the voice, the powers. So that's why he's my favorite. My third and my fourth were kind of hard to choose, but White Thunder Ranger and Dragon. This is my display. What do you guys think? Probably not going to be collecting no more Power Rangers. That was it. All my favorite ones. But yeah, Lightning Collection needs to come out with Korag. Because Korag's a beast. He's one of the best rangers. I know Mystic Force is invisible. Doesn't really get a lot of love. Doesn't get that recognition compared to the other Power Rangers. It's kind of forgotten. But Mystic Force, those Power Rangers were... That TV show was nice. The TV show was good. I enjoyed watching that TV show. 
my favorite TV, my favorite Power Ranger TV show. Then it'll probably be Dino Thunder. But yeah, Mystic Force is being slept on. They need to come out with Korag Lightning Collection. I'm sure a lot of people love Korag. They know about him. Dope Ranger. To me, he's the best. Alongside Tommy Oliver. But it's my collection. Power Rangers. Comment down below what you guys think. If you guys think have another favorite Power Rangers you guys like other than these ones. Leave a comment down below. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. And I'm out.